Uh, this is Doug Warner, and I am delighted to be joined by our next guest in studio, Cliff Stevens, who's the founder, CEO, and president of Locodote LLC. Now, just a little bit, when I say Locodote, you say, what the heck is that? Locodote is a brand new iPhone application that Cliff uh, helped co-found, and uh, we're going to have him tell you a little bit about that. But first, I want to give just a little bit of history on Cliff, and that is he is a local fellow from Chester County, born and raised out here in the Downingtown area, and uh, now a Center City, uh, Philadelphia entrepreneur. He and his wife, Varushka, have founded and run multiple technology-related businesses in addition to Locodote LLC, which includes My Own IT Guy, Inc., the IT Staffing Company, and EverySAPJob.com. Cliff is a graduate of James Madison University's College of Business and Singularities, Singularities University's 2010 Executive Program. Welcome, Cliff, to this WCHE Morning Magazine. Thanks, Doug. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. Well, what we'd like to know, first of all, uh, tell us what a little bit about Locodote and what it does and also, because of the unusual name, how did you come up with the name Locodote? Yeah, uh, so the word Locodote is something I just made up, and it's really a function of the fact that today um, it's pretty difficult to find a domain name that's available anymore, so I had to throw together some words that I thought would uh, make some sense in the app that I was going to be building. And so I took the word local and combined it with anecdote and took away the C, replaced it with a K, and that became Locodote, L-O-K-A-D-O-T. Mm, very clever. I like pretty, that. Pretty cool, yeah. isn't it? Okay, now we know what, what it stands for. Tell us a little bit about what it does. Yeah. Uh, right now, it's a free app that's available on the Apple App Store, and you can download it to the iPhone, iPad, iTouch. Um, but what it does is um, when you're running the app, you can walk around right now. We're doing a pilot in Center City, Philadelphia. But you can walk around, and as you approach points of interest in the city where there is an audio file associated with it, um, the app will automatically trigger that audio, and you will hear it. And the cool thing about the app is that it weaves that audio file into the music stream you're listening to from your iPod app. Samantha is an iPhone expert and <laughs> iPhone user, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't call me expert. I would call me addicted. Okay, that, well that's cool too. Yeah. So what do you think so far, Samantha? Do you uh, well, I was going to ask. You said it's a free app. Mm -hmm. How do they? I'm just curious. I don't know if you'll know the answer to this. So how do they do that? I mean, if you come up with this, how how do you profit any money off of it if there's if it's free? Yeah. So um, there's a lot of different ways to monetize um, apps. And one of the ways is by uh, in-app advertising. Uh, another way is, you know, with, with our technology, we're actually going to be partnering with organizations who have a vested interest in using location-based audio like museums so that when you go to a museum, instead of having to put on, put on that clunky headset and carry around that, um, that thing they give you, which is the audio player, um, you'll just use your own smartphone and pop in your own headphones, oh, and so they cool. will pay us to host their audio. And so there's thousands of museums in the country, and we'll do the same thing for uh, parks and mm -hmm. for university and student tours and that kind of thing. So now, how do people say, you know, WCHE wanted to get on this app? You know, they want when people are walking by the station, they want, you know, this, it to say, you are approaching WCHE. How would they go about? getting themselves on the map for that or, you know, getting themselves in the app? Yeah, great question. Right now we're doing a pilot in Center City. So right now that's all happening really um, through me. I'm meeting with organizations in Center City and I'm doing the grunt work of getting that audio together, publishing it through our platform, and which then makes it available on the Internet that we then pull in um, through the app. So over time, within actually we're doing a website redesign uh, over the next two or three months. And one of the things we'll be enabling is for new businesses and organizations to register for an account and start publishing audio immediately. Now, how did you come up with this idea? I love that question. <laughs> um, it, it really started in 2006. My wife and I were traveling, and 
we spent quite a bit of time in Europe and then in South America just with some bags on our backs and staying in hostels and cheap hotels and that kind of thing. And when we came back, um, I wanted to do more of that. I just wanted to uh, see more of the world. And I thought, well, I can't do that financially, but I will um, create an app that will enable other people to visit places and easily learn about them. That's where the, be the beginning of the idea happened. And then last year, um, my wife and I were traveling up in uh, Massachusetts. And it was a day when the weather was nasty. We were in the car driving up to Provincetown. Uh, the, the music on the radio was pretty bad and the commercials were uninspiring. And I thought, you know, I've got this, this thing in my hand called an iPhone that has everything in it that would enable me to hear all about these cool things that were driving by. Mm -hmm. And um, that's really where the idea took hold. And I came back um, within a few weeks and pitched the idea to some technology people, and they really dug it, and I started building. Huh.